In this video, we're going to learn how to add a custom post process material on a camera component using blueprints and modify it in real time. To follow along with this tutorial, you obviously need post process material. And in here, I already have my own post process material which I made before, known as PP Lens Distortion. This is basically a very simple lens distortion post process. So if I were to go take the instance of it, you can see this in action. A very simple post-process effect that I'm using for my game. So before we continue on the video, I want to quickly mention that I'm using the first person uh, project template for Unreal. So you can already see that I'm using the first person project template over here. And in here, in the content browser, click on the sources panel. You can actually see this sources panel here. And under here, click on first person BP. Double click on blueprints. And you can actually see first person character. Click on this blueprint. And when you open it, go to event graph over here. And in here, you have all these nodes. So there are two parts to this logic. Uh, I just went ahead and commented them up. One is known as post process setup and the other one is known as modifying post process parameters. So I'm going to be explaining what each of these nodes actually do. So yeah, we're gonna go into post process setup and under post process setup, even begin play. And from even begin play, drag the execution node and create a create dynamic material instance. Now this node basically creates a material instance out of whatever parent material which you have selected over here. In here I have selected PP Lens Distortion. Simply type in whatever name of the material you want. So in here as you can see PP Lens Distortion, I already selected it here. So I'm using this as a material instance. And we are going to save this variable because we need this variable later on in our in order to modify the parameters in it so just right click on this and you have this option known as promote to variable just select it give it a suitable name i name mine as dynamic material test one which is over here dynamic material test one all right from dynamic material test one we need to then create the make weighted blendable so this node basically controls how much of the post process effect is actually shown on the screen so as you can see here we have this weight parameter go input node and this takes in a value of 0 to 1 0 being no effect and 1 being full effect full effect of the post process will be shown on the screen so you want to make sure that you actually select this as 1 positive 1 so that the post process effect is properly shown and from here we have the make array now the make array is mainly used because over here we have the make weighted blendables uh, this is different from this node over here this is make weighted blendables there is an s over here and this takes in an array uh, but apart from that you can also use this uh, to create and use multiple post process materials simultaneously so for example if i were to copy paste these and you know assume that we're going to make another node out of this i can just connect over here and then control the weighted blendables over here the weight parameter over here to control how much of this effect should be shown in relation to this effect assuming these two are different post process so you kind of get an idea that you can actually use multiple post process over here and control each of them how they all work together over the screen by controlling the weight parameter over here so moving on we have the make post process settings this one you need to click over here and in the search bar type in post process materials over here you can already see post process materials under rendering features 
so i have already selected the checkbox over here if i have to disable it there is no input from here so you need to make sure you selected the checkbox over here so you, so you can actually connect the nodes together and after that we need to apply the post process settings which we have created from all of these we want to apply this to the first person camera and for that reason we need to go over here to the components tab and the first person camera over here again we using the first person project template so in the first person project template we have the first person camera over here just drag and drop this over here and you go to the first person camera then go and drag it like set post process settings this one over here and there you have it i just demonstrated how you could do that but yeah over here you have the same node make sure to connect the post process settings to the post process settings over here and that's it moving on to the second part of the logic i won't be going into details about what these nodes do as i assume most of you know how it works but to give a quick summary of what this does basically the intensity of the post process material which i'm using which is the lens distortion effect changes whenever i press and release the left shift key over here and that's it make sure to compile and save over here and then try the game out if i were to press the left shift key you can notice the effect is on the whole view is kind of distorted it's basically my post process effect working and when i release the key it's back to normal and i press the left shift key the effect is back on again and i can keep repeating this and that's it thanks for watching bye